Hey everybody, Paul Burkita here with Evolve Lab. Uh, today we have a Dynamo script for the Remit MEP users out there um, that'll be adding insulation to duct systems by system type and insulation type. So some quick uses of this kind of script, if you're working on a high rise or any sort of structure really with a lot of different systems and system types, um, this would be a great way to add insulation to those uh, in one fell swoop while still being able to control which systems get insulation. Uh, for the BIM coordinators out there, this will be useful for adding spatially uh, accurate insulation to your coordination models so that now you can clash against those systems inclusive of insulation. Let's get to it. Before we get into the Dynamo script, just a quick object styles tip about insulation, uh, if you don't already know it. So I, I personally see this a lot on the insulation with dash marks and transparent material. A lot of times you can control that directly from the Manage tab and the Object Styles window. Let's see. So for our duct installation, we have a dash of 1 16th of an inch for the line pattern. And then we can control the insulation for all elements that have their, all insulation type elements that have their material set to by category. We can control that all from here. So what, for instance, we're using the default duct insulation in the families tab or families browser rather. If this material was set to by category, then now any default insulation type is going to have PVC jacketed fiberglass material. Okay, so I've removed some of the insulation from our ductwork just so that we can apply it with the script. And let's go ahead and open up Dynamo. Let that run. Open our duct insulator script by size and system. Okay, so just to go over the basic script functionality first here real quick. What's going to happen is we're going to collect all the ducts and duct fitting elements in the model, literally all of them. Same deal with duct insulation types and duct lining types. In this script, we won't go over applying duct lining, but it's the same exact process as applying duct insulation. So we want all their types, not the actual elements, but the types of duct insulation. Whereas we want all the elements of ducts and fittings to apply that insulation type too. Makes sense. So we collect all of our duct fitting elements, put them in a list. Then we extract the system type we're looking for. So for this duct system, duct, duct uh, supply air usually gets insulation. So we are going to look for supply air systems. By running a simple comparison, list filter by Boolean mask using that comparison. And now the filtered results here, this is all of our duct and duct fittings that are of the system type supply air that we specified. We're gonna feed those with the insulation type that we specify into an MEP over package node. So if you don't have this package uh, and you work in an MEP firm or a BIM coordinator or a, you're working with Revit MEP a significant amount, highly recommend you go out and get this and get it up and running. If that's not interesting to you, uh, I've gone ahead and copied and pasted the actual Python scripts out of the node and into a Python node. So you don't need to go get the package in order for the script to work. However, I do highly recommend it. There's a lot of great stuff in the MEP over package. Um, yeah, it's just really brilliantly put together. Anyway, that is the top level overview. So let's go through it in detail now. All right, so diving into the details of the script here. Uh, the first thing I want you folks to notice is that the, the last two nodes here have been frozen. This is to prevent any type of accidental output. Um, we want to control everything that's going on first. 
and run our scripts and then everything's kosher, we'll unfreeze and do a final run. Um, personally, I, I think that is a, a good practice or at least, you know, have one node that controls the flow of the script. So let's say you open up Dynamo and this is set to automatic. You're not waiting for your script to complete um, before you've even done anything to it. Okay, so to start us off, we need to input our inputs. Uh, like I was saying before, this is gonna have three different types of input, the system type that we, mechanical system type that we want to apply insulation to, the insulation type, and the insulation thickness. So we've already covered the supply air, the system type, and we can view the system types if you're not already familiar in our project browser, family browser, duct systems, span that. And these are all the different duct system types that we have in this model. Again, we're only gonna focus on supply air here. And the reason for that is because in the, in the duct insulation schedule for this particular project, that is all that's receiving insulation. Supply air duct, whether it's, it's indoor, whether it's concealed or exposed, that's gonna determine the, the insulation type that it receives, but the insulation thickness is gonna be the same throughout. So one thing to note here, in the future, we will be presenting a script that can differentiate um, insulation types based on whether a duct is above a ceiling or not above a ceiling. Uh, but for this purpose, or for, for all intents and purposes for this exercise, we're just gonna focus on the insulation thickness. All right, let's get Dynamo back open again. Okay, so we've got our supply air. Let's look at the thickness. Uh, we just saw in our duct insulation schedule that we want that to be one and a half inches. Now, one quick thing to note here about this MEP over node, when it accepts the insulation thickness variable, it needs to be in decimal feet. So if you put in just 1.5 and plug it in, uh, you'll get a very, very, very thin, or sorry, a very thick uh, insulation. And that's not quite what you want. Um, so don't forget to divide by 12 to get our inches in the decimal feet. However you want to do that too. It doesn't have to be a, cold block, a code block, but uh, for visual sake, that's what we're using. Okay, now there is something to note here. So our, our previous inputs, we can just type them in. That uh, has proven just to be a little challenging in the sense that we can't just type in our insulation type. Again, because this node is accepting, it's looking for the, the physical Revit element of the insulation type and not just the name of the insulation type. Uh, what I mean by that is This, this node here, this uh, duct insulation type, and then all elements of type, this is collecting the, the physical Revit elements with the uh, element ID and all that. Then we're extracting the name from that element. And so we, we can't just grab the name because this node is looking for the physical element and not just the name. So there's multiple ways to skin this cat um, for this video and simplicity's sake we are just going to view a list of all of the insulation types and then select by index position which one we want. So that we that way we grab the element type with us and not just its name. And to show you what I mean here, just confirm that these are frozen. I'm gonna go ahead and run our script. And now nothing should happen because again, our, our outputs are, have been frozen. So all that we should see is our watch nodes fill up and any incomplete nodes will throw an error. That's exactly what we want. So if we zoom in here now on our watch nodes, we have duct linings, duct insulation. Um, we're gonna ignore the, the duct lining for now. Like I said, this is the same exact process for applying lining to ductwork as applying insulation. So we're just gonna focus on insulation. All right, let's say we want our, the PVC jacket fiberglass. We want this type of insulation on all of our duct work. So, and that's in the first index position. So let's go ahead and just highlight this negative one and change it to one. 
All right, so right now, right, this was grabbing something else. If we run this, we should see this change. There, it, okay, it changed. So we just grabbed a different infected installation. And it is this right here. Perfect. So now we have all our inputs. All we need to do is test this script. All right, now that we have our script in a position where it's ready to be run, Let's go ahead to those output nodes and let's unfreeze the Python node. So we'll just right click, left click to unfreeze. All right. And the reason I'm, I'm doing the Python node and not the MAP over node is again, if you guys want to use the script and don't have the package, you'll be using the Python node. All right. Let's double check the inputs. We have an inch and a half installation in decimal feet. So you divide by 12. We're going to apply Insulation to supply air, and the insulation type is at the first index position of that list. What's that list? It's this list, and so that'll be PVC jacket fiberglass. All right, gone ahead and split the windows here, and I think we're ready to run. Excellent. So you see every uh, every piece of supply air duct and duct fittings now has insulation on it. And it should be this PVC jacket at an inch and a half. So if I select on our a piece of duct here, scroll down in the properties palette to insulation, inch and a half PVC jacket. Excellent. None of the other systems, aka the, the return error here, that did not get insulation. That's exactly as we wanted. Um, I'm sure it's possible that we could add the flex air ducts um, to that collection list here. And I do plan on, on creating a series of videos about this. So look for that in the future. Feel free to mess around with it too. Theoretically, it should work if you add flex ducts and then the logic for doing it here as well. And just one thing to note here about MEP fabrication duct, that's here in black. Uh, whereas every all this this other ductwork, call it design duct, just the regular ductwork system, um, the MEP fabrication ductwork does not receive insulation from the script. It is sort of a, it's a different system element, system family, system type. Uh, the insulation, yeah, it's all just different. So this script will work on design duct and not on MEP fabrication ducts. All right, folks, hope you enjoyed today's video. Uh, in it, we saw how to select an entire duct system by system type name. We saw how to grab an insulation type and set its thickness, and how to apply that insulation type and its thickness to the specified duct system. Uh, tune in in future weeks where we will be reviewing the same process, but for pipe systems now, which increases the complexity by involving more elements, more sizes, and more rules. That's it. Thanks for watching. As always, please feel free to reach out to us at evolvelab.io. We'd love to hear more about your challenges and how we can solve them. Until then, see you next week.